Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're going to have a quick look at the updated Divi Switch plugin which is available to buy for $20 over at Divi.space. What uh, Divi Switch is, is um, a plugin for your Divi website that adds uh, a new area in your dashboard with 53 switches. Activating the switches will add various customizations to your Divi website. Now, the plugin is a huge time saver and it allows you to add customizations at the flick of a switch. So there's no coding knowledge needed at all. You don't need to search Google or the Facebook groups for various CSS snippets to add to your site. So it basically saves <coughs> a whole a whole load of time using it. So what I've done is install Divi Switch 2.0 onto a test site. I've loaded a one of the predefined layouts and this is what it looks like in the back end. So we're going to test just a couple of the new features on Divi Switch. So if you haven't used uh, Divi Switch before, this is what it looks like in the back end. You have a long list of the 53 different switches that can be toggled on and off as you need them. You don't need to save this page once you toggle switch on it's activated. Um, for those of you who have used the previous version you'll notice a couple of differences in that this page is now here in the Divi tab so Divi switch this is the page that we're on now and to help you find the switch that you want you have uh, these hot links in the menu so Transitions takes you down to transitions, and there's also a new image here. Again, it makes it easier to find the switch that you're looking for, and gives you a visualization of what the switch actually does. So, when the when this plugin came out a couple of months ago, I did a quick video and tested a few of the switches. So I'll put a link to that. Uh, under the video and today I'm just going to go and test a couple of the new features. The ones that I was interested in are the transitions down at the bottom. So hover CSS transition effects. And this is uh, something that's asked for quite a lot in the various Facebook groups for how to add uh, a hover transition onto images or text or <clears throat> anything basically. So what we're going to do is add some hover effects onto this page. So these are blurbs and we're going to add some hover effects here. So what you need to do first thing is turn your switch on for this particular effect and for these ones you have to choose which one of these you want to use. So we're going to go and try this one, hover skew forward, so just select and copy the CSS class, and go into your back end and we're going to add it onto this first blurb. So if we add into the custom CSS tab and then CSS class, hover skew forward and preview. We should see there we now have a hover effect. And there's a whole load to choose from. So <coughs> hover wobble bottom. So what you can also do, so that one was on the individual module, what we're going to do is add 
<clears throat> this one into the entire row. So we're going to add that in there and preview. So now this hover effect should, there we go. So it affects the whole of this row. This one's just on the top. And <clears throat> you can also add into the entire section to make it affect all six of these blurbs. So there's, um, I mean, just, just with this one switch alone, there's a, a huge amount of options and possibilities of where you can use these effects on your website. Okay, so now we're going to have a quick look at another one of the new features which are these filters so we're going to do the css filters and same as before you just turn the switch on grab the css code for the one you want and we're going to add add it onto an image so we should probably upload an image first so this is our original image in color and if we add the CSS class of DS grayscale and preview we should see there that the image has been made grayscale and I guess with um, the same as all of the other switches it's uh, a matter of saving time and being able to apply effects that maybe you don't know how to do. So, you know, you could do this in Photoshop, but if you don't have uh, Photoshop or clients don't, or you just can't be bothered to open Photoshop with a couple of clicks, you can add um, quite a few different filters. So that's the grayscale and then um, Instagram filters. So if you use Instagram, you might have seen some of these before. So we'll just grab Mayfair. Where are we? So on the image. So we'll turn the, take the grayscale off and apply the Mayfair Instagram filter. And there you go. It's looks like it's just up the saturation. Let's see what 1977 produces. Hmm, doesn't seem to have done that much, but there you go. Okay, so um, there it is. Uh, that was just looking at two of the switches out of 53 so there's a whole whole load more options separators removing the dividing line you know you can uh, download the plugin and go through and select the effects you want turn the switches on and in a few clicks you'll have uh, all sorts of customizations on your Divi website. Okay, um, one last thing. The Divi Space have donated five licenses of Divi Switch for me to give away on Divi Theme Examples. So if you're watching this video on the Divi Theme Examples blog, below you'll be able to enter the giveaway. And if you're watching this on YouTube, YouTube, head over to Divi Theme Examples and look for the Divi 2.0 Switch post and you can enter the giveaway there. Okay, enjoy.